Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And this is Mary Lou Areño. And I would like to share with you today, especially for the teachers that are going back to school, some tips on your first days of school. And uh, these ideas are adapted from the book of uh, Harry Wong and Rosemary Wong. I am their, uh, one of their number one uh, fan of uh, their book because I learned a lot from their tips as a teacher. So are you ready to go back to school, wonderful teachers? And I hope you do. So first, I just wanted to describe what is an effective teacher. So that is the first thing that we're going to talk about, the effective teacher. And I know uh, every one of us uh, teachers, that's our ultimate goal, to become an effective teacher. So what are the characteristics or tips that you need to know to become an effective teacher in your classroom? Okay, let's talk about them. First, of course, as a teacher, we need to have a positive expectations for our student success because nobody rises to low expectations. So on the first day of your teaching in your classroom and you see your students sitting on their chair, on their desks, and um, let's say you have 20 students you need to believe that those 20 students are capable of being successful in their studies, being successful to be in your classroom. Sometimes you notice already like who are the smart students, the good students who always listen to their teachers, the students who cannot sit still, the students who don't listen to you, I know sometimes uh, you cannot help yourself, but to start judging, like this boy is really a good student, something like that. Or this girl, oh no, he's, she's going to give me a problem. We need to avoid those uh, subjective um, observations because we need to set our mind that all our students are good students and all our students are capable of success. And mind you, if you keep on, make them feel that they are uh, good students, that they're capable of learning, they will live up to your expectations, okay? So that's the number one uh, characteristic of an effective teacher. You have to have a positive expectations for student success. And every student is capable of learning and every student is good, okay? So what is the second one? You need to have a good classroom management. An effective teacher is a good classroom manager. What do I mean by that? So I always uh, remind teachers that the most critical period of becoming a teacher for the beginning of the school year is your first days of school. And usually this is the first week of your school, okay? So what you need to do, if you cannot uh, manage the classroom on your first week, it's so hard to get them on the second week, on the third week like you're going to lose them. So what do we need to do to become an effective classroom manager? First, number one, you need to have a set rules, okay? Make the rules simple, direct to the point, and uh, those rules are showing expectations. What do you expect the students to do? And you have to incorporate them in your rules, okay? So if you expect them to come to school every day, listen to the teachers, submit their assignments on time, be participated. So make it very simple. I'm just giving you one example. If you're expecting them to cooperate when there are a classroom discussion or uh, you need to follow or they need to follow uh, procedures 
when they need to go to the restroom, when they need to get their books and everything. So classroom rules on the first week of school is very important. And of course, if you develop your classroom rules, you need to involve your student. You have to get their uh, agreement or uh, they need to buy the, the rules. And after that, after setting up the rules, you start with your practice, okay? So if you have five rules that you set up, you need to practice them. You need to be consistent because if you are not consistent with the rules that you set, they will not obey those rules, okay? So you need to remind the students that we set the rules and everyone is expected to follow those rules. So on the first week, they should know already their, your expectations to them. Like if they are expected to uh, complete their assignment daily, if they are expected to behave in your class and listen and respect one another. So that is very critical. Glue, good classroom management on the first week of school. So you need to, re, to remind yourself that that is uh, the number one that you should address when you go back to school, okay? Lesson planning and um, whatever academic related, they will not, you cannot start well with those unless the rules and your classroom is set to go. So that's the number, number two characteristic. You need to have a, a good classroom management. And the number three characteristic of an effective teacher is teacher knows how to design lessons for student mastery. So, Whenever you come and face your students, you need to remember that they are ready to learn. And at the same time, as a teacher, you need to remember that you should be always ready to teach, okay? So you need to follow and have a smooth flow in your instruction. You cannot be not ready. You have to have your lessons, your resources, whatever materials you need for the day. And of course, follow the effective lesson planning. So you start with introduction or review of your lesson. Then you need to develop your lesson, model the expected learning outcomes by providing clear explanation and examples. And then of course, you have to have guided practice, okay? So after you introduce the lesson and you proceed to the development, you don't expect your students to get it right away. So you have to provide them guided practice and then monitor and engage your students with assigned learning tasks. And always remember to put a generalization or closure on your lesson. And then you proceed to independent practice. So uh, remember, after the guided practice, you give them a little independent to do it on their own but you don't need to leave them alone. So you have to monitor your students to make sure that everyone is doing well. And if not, continue the guided practice until they can do it independently. And last that you should remember is to evaluate the progress of your student, okay? Um, your teaching or your introduction of lesson is not going to be meaningful if you don't know that the students is making progress or if you don't assess whether your students are making progress, okay? So you have to monitor their progress to make sure that they learn the lesson. So let's repeat. What are the characteristics of an effective teacher? So you need to have expectations, high expectations to your students and believe that everyone can be successful and capable of learning. And second, don't forget your classroom management skills. And you have to establish that on your first days of school, especially on the first week, okay? Set the rules, set the procedure and everything. And everyone will 
everything will flow smoothly throughout the school year. And of course, the third one, you have to know how to design lessons for student mastery, okay? And in order to know that, evaluation and monitoring is very important. So those are the only three tips that I can share with you for now to become an effective teacher, okay? And I know every one of you, you are best teacher in your own ways, but um, these are just a reminder like to be successful in your teaching this school year, okay? So good luck to all of you. I wish you all good luck and um, be successful this school year. So if you have questions, I can share more classroom management strategies to you. And thank you for watching and for uh, listening to my uh, presentation and sharing today. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please click that button and share it to other teachers, okay? That my mission is to empower teachers to become successful and effective in our vocation. So thank you for now and goodbye. Good luck everyone. And to God be the glory. See you next time, wonderful teachers. Bye.